In this problem, this is for the the praxis, right? And this is for the praxis 0061 math content test on, and this is a, the matrix component, which of course is also relates to any any matrix algebra or linear algebra class. But anyway, so this this problem right here, it says the orthogonal projection of three space onto the x y plane takes the point x, y, z onto the point x, y, zero. This transformation can be re represented by the matrix equation M, that's our matrix, right, times x, y, z equals x, y, zero, where M is which of the following, so we want to say which matrix does M equal, so that when we take our matrix M and multiply it by x, y, z, do we get x, y, zero. And, and what they're saying makes sense, right? A 3D plane has an X, a Y, and a Z. So if we want to map this to a 2D plane, we need to, we can get rid of any dimension, but we can get rid of D. And then we go left with X, Y. So which, which matrix does this? Um, well, here in A, it, it almost seems just like too many zeros, and that's, that's true. But let's just get a sense of this problem. So zero, zero, zeros, more zeros, and then times x, y, z. And let's see, we should get, if this is correct, x, y, zero. So first we have this row, oops, this row times this column, and that gives us our first value up here. And then we have our second row times the column gives us our second value. And this third row times the column gives us our third value. So 0, 0, 0 times 0 times x, 0 times y, 0 times z, all added up is 0. But we don't want that. We want x. So this one is out. And so is d for the same reason, because these zeros will give us a 0. So now we're, we have a 50% chance of correcting, guessing, guessing this correctly. And uh, let's start with b. And you can always see how the bottom row this is going to be the correct answer. Um, that's going to correspond to our z value. Right, we said over here that our bottom row times this column, that will give us our third input value. But let's just try that. So we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, times x, y, z. And let's see what this gets us. First, we take the row, 1, 0, 0, multiplied by 1, y, x, y, z. 1 times x is x, plus, well, 0 times anything is 0, and so 0 times y is 0, and 0 times z is also 0. In the next row, we have 0, 1, 0 times x, y, z. And now if you see the pattern, we're just going to get y. And then last 0, 0, 0 gives us nothing. So we have used this matrix to map this to x, y, 0. So b is the answer.